Hello Class of 75, I'm Judith Nolan and as you know there's no reunion this year so I thought I'd take us on a little tour of the campus to see what's new. Let's start with the Arctic Circle. The Arctic Circle is now the entrance to John Abbott's Science Building and it's named after Anne-Marie Edward who was a John Abbott grad and a victim of the Polytechnic Massacre. Unfortunately, we can't go through the building, so we'll just go around. And voila, our old biology building and a weird art installation of some kind. Now we'll take a look at the work going on at the back of the old library building. All the lovely woodwork and the um, decorated windows that we never really got to see are being refurbished and a learning center is being added. and. Uh, for the modern student, 40% more electrical outlets for all those indispensable devices. Okay, let's take a quick bike ride past the CC and go say hi to Sir William. Good job, Mr. McDonald. Thank you. Here's the handsome new power plant and the Mac Market. Ooh, nice birds. <laughs> The Mac Market is very popular with the McDonald community and the uh, neighboring communities in general, and it even supplies McGill's downtown residences. Before we head over to the farm, let's take a quick detour into St. Anne's, see what's changed. Cousy Nose is still around. There's a very popular Saturday morning farmer's market, but there's no Marcos and no bank, just an ATM. However, we do have a cannabis dispensary and a tattoo parlor. Okay, let's get back to the farm. As the sign says, this is a garden by students for students, and it's to help them develop a green thumb. They sell their produce at the market in St. Anne's. Let's go take a look at a couple of windbreaks that have been planted in the farm fields. These are native species, and the idea here is to improve snow cover, reduce runoff, and um, provide potential shade for future pastures. Thank you for coming on this little campus tour with me. Stay safe. See you next year. Hi everyone, this is Susan uh, Hawker from Bader Fig, Quebec, beside McDonald College campus, and we love living here still. Um, Paul and I have four children and five grandchildren, and the oldest grandchild just had a baby, so we're great grandparents. And my mother, who's alive still at 102, uh, is a great, great grandma. There she is there. We have our dogs still. Um, we uh, try to bike every day, try to go for a good walk every day. Um, we've been doing a lot of gardening. Paul has been building furniture. And we went to Ireland last year uh, in the fall, and we hiked about 110 kilometers in 10 days, so kind of did some pressure on the knees, but it's feeling better now. Um, I've been active environmentally, uh, formed a coalition called Friends of the Environment, and working on climate action and um, plastic, uh, single-use plastic ban as well. Hope you are keeping well, and um, hope to see you. If we don't see you this year, then next year. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm. I got two granddaughters and sons too, and a grand puppy, Gilbert, right here in Nova Scotia. He's sometimes not cooperative, but anyway, well, glad to see you all in five years. All the best. Bye for now.
Hello everyone, this is Barbara Herman at home in my kitchen in Beaconsfield and we are all well and we hope, we, we hope you are too. Um, Jean-Pierre is still working, he's an architect. Um, our oldest son Alex is an, is an airline pilot out in Calgary and he's still working too, believe it or not. <laughs> and Robbie, our youngest son, has just finished a computer programming course and he's uh, he really enjoyed it and is looking forward to a career in computer programming and um, I'm retired and I'm enjoying retirement very much and playing my flute in the Lakeshore concert band and Fortunately, we were able to practice outside in the summer and look forward to practicing indoors in Dorval in the winter so we hope you're all very well and keep well and i'm really looking forward to seeing you all next year bye bye Hi, this is Rick Gilmer from South Mountain. Uh, I'm going to focus a bit on our family. We have uh, four kids of our own. We have seven grandchildren, with two more in the way. Uh, our two sons are both involved full time on the farm, and our two daughters live close by. Uh, we've been on a few trips recently Great Britain, which is self organized. We were to Russia, which was on an organized tour. We were to Iceland, and we were to Australia and New Zealand. Unfortunately, the Australia and New Zealand one got cut short by COVID. I still stay active in the farm but not on the everyday decisions. Uh, our farm is now milking 200 cows with a, th a thousand acres. Hope to see you all in a year's time. If not, we'll definitely see you in 2025.